So if anybody was peeking that angle with the USP, quite common on a pistol round, they would be bombarded with that damage, but nobody home as Grim will clear out top banana and Hooksy takes first contact. Oh, dude, they're setting them up for failure here. Yeah, sure. Smoke it off. We've got boosted players set up, but still throws out the smoke to imply he's alone. Monacy set up. Silver platter for an opener. And another found by Hooksy's USP. That will deter. Bomb scooped up by Halzerk and on the way back to A. Uh, JKS and Hunter, the usual duo here to deal with this. Ooh, defensive smoke deployed. Both of them being used very well here. They've got to go up and over. Yeah, Julie's for JKS. Tracking floppy, comfortable for it. And there's more to be found. A quick headshot to secure it. G2. Not much sweat on the brow and nearly a teammate. Just Nico unable to find. Maybe it will yeah. you know, start to mount a little bit of frustration. So the the nades for JKS. Perhaps one, two. No, the third does not find him. He's all good. And saved by the bell. 3-0. We do get that flying start from G2. They might just run B here if Floppy comes out mid and finds two. Right, they'll run. Here we go. They have to run straight into Tanigo. Surely. Well, they know he's around here. The flash is perfect. But the headshot doesn't matter. Crosshair placement. He didn't even spam. He just tapped. Yeah, still low game on. How's that taking him down? Smoke towards the arch. Monacy's going to be assuming he has to full rotate and tuck in. Spamming the M4 to imply presence. Could be good enough to force. Oh, interesting. Looking for a boost, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, no fight to be given immediately. It's Fang looking to hold this cross. Bomb's halfway gone. Yeah, this looks like it might just be all in vain. JKS responsible for the banana fight. They just need to get someone on that bomb. But time, time is of the essence. G2, Halzak snaps into Monacy and now just trying to escape. JKS, the Aussie sent down under. And complexity getting immediately to the winning ways. And that was an interesting start to the first gun round. Ops for the latter. He has really no support of Util here available to him. Yeah, you're right, they're, they're running dry. Oh, it's Floppy comes back. Oh, that's the bomb, Grim. No, no scope <laughs> onto Floppy Monacy feeling himself as JT tries to take a gamble. It doesn't matter, the bomb's down in mid, the round's over. The round is done. Monacy has won this one already. A late mid peak, bomb down towards Chicken Pit. And looking like a bunch of headless chooks of complexity right now. That is 4-1. Yeah, dude, they actually... I mean, when you talk about map control, we <laughs> saw it. Good, it looked it? great. Yeah. You had everything you needed. Uh, and more. Nico sitting there panicked, tucked into a smoke with no support. Monica, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's smirking. I think you've got... This is where the wall banks were coming through. And Floppy may have heard this because I think he got up to boiler relatively quickly. 24 <laughs> seconds when he hit. Round yeah. Yeah. Done. At that point, done. And I was just saying that I, it looks pretty good in terms of the map control that they were getting. And, and they just nonchalantly walk on out, take a couple of fights. What do you do? Knock over a drink or something? Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He flashes himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Paragon. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. Sure. You know, these two teams have so much firepower uh, and they can ride or die exactly by that. So you need your players to be the game as well. JT feels that one into Nico. That's the B defender down, but it's the AWP of Monacy that's actually over towards that site. So. If they rotate back, they'll have to deal with the big green. 50 seconds left now. This is crowd control. You tell him oh. what a shot from Halzerk. Oh, They're in the side. That should be a save. It probably is. Hunter's there. He's going to at least try and voice concerns. Have a look. Have a shot. And deletes JT. That might just encourage, but no. So. Not even. You can see Hooksy. He, he was uh, interested. Pulled in. Top. Very nice recovery from complexity. And I think most importantly is the fact that they do so with four alive. Starting to accrue a bit of a bank account for themselves. I don't know if they can go back towards B here because they haven't had any idea what's been going on for them. Oh, oh, they've lost Floppy. He was flubbing his name. Now they can focus all of their attention towards short, the flash, the smoke. Look at G2's utility. Sure. This whole round, yeah, this yeah, whole round. Safe. Beautiful Counter-Strike being displayed here by G2. And you say they can't go back to B. Well, they're going to be walking down mid loudly. Are they really going to give this a crack? Oh, I wouldn't now. You just lost your leader. Maybe back to spawn, back to where the round began. Or, oh, no, what's Nico gone for? Bloody Nora. That was a very aggressive rounding of the corner. Uh, Hooksy needs help. Yeah, he's in trouble. He made noise in the water. I don't know if they heard him. Ooh, potentially. Monacy's going to arrive in time. No smoke for the cross. The orc should have it. Let's it go. Needs another. Does find Grim and stop that bomb. 
for a perfect round, all things considered. It's just a little bit... A little bit <laughs> should stressful. Have, shouldn't have been. Uh, there, there should have been no plant, even a conversation on the table right there. Fine. <laughs> it is. It is fine. Everything's fine. It is fine. I think we call a win a win uh, yeah. around these parts here. Honestly, doing a lot. I mean, that's already a couple of rounds we're just attributing to him. Yeah. And floppy caught with his nades out against that orb, because he got the info. Yeah. You heard the conversation there as well. Three there for sure. They were right. Right. They were. They were bang on. <laughs> but here comes the coffin and CT. Counter util from Hooksy. He's going to line that one up and actually trying to time it off Nico's call. There it goes. Well placed. And a burning singed and sprayed as Nico gets himself a double. Just on this conservative Desert Eagle round. Kevlar Vest doing his best. And only one from Fang. As the sixth is secured. Wow, that is a vibrant Krieg in play. Halzerk still maintaining a scope in his hands as Monacy's used his to great success upon the Fang. Wow, Grim is having a good couple of shots, but still Hunter trying to slow down this potential plant. Smoke for the cross. Halzerk. He's on his own. No help. Happy still at eight. Yeah. Maybe he can sell this. He has. He's actually managed Hunter to throw two smokes. Hunter knows it's a one-on-one -on -one right now. Hunter knows it's a one-on-one -on, -one on B. He should just push this. How does I can't he believe. Know? Okay, I, well, because uh, yeah, pretty sure Monacy just saw Floppy he running did? down mid. Okay, because I was just looking at the fact he just pulled out the second smoke, gets them both down, and now it's a two on two retake. Monacy up against this Krieg, and Halzuk's hit a banger through the smoke, and yeah, Monacy's quicker. Floppy, can he have some impact? This would be a huge round, but Monacy makes it look too damn easy. A multi kill madness up to 13 now on that AWP. Four piece. They're wrapping it. From Cole. In towards long side. Hunter. He's gonna hit a bit of a crazy spray. They're running him down. He can hear the footsteps. Does try and tuck in for the reload. JKS providing the covering fire. Grim and Fang. Looking sharp. Okay, that's the A side down. Monacy and Nico forced to come up clutch. A two versus three on the retake. Fang and Grim got them in. Can Floppy help escort G2 out? Grim not looking, unaware, it's floppy, a necessary trade. Puts it all onto Monacy. He's quick. And he's been more lethal than anyone else. I think he spotted the beret and Fang, yeah, lucky to be alive. And ding for good measure, he's always a threat. But that's a four for complexity and it comes from Fang. Off the challenger stage. Oh, ouch. He that. didn't start Boiler either. He just walked there and took that fight. There's more to come here. JT, good in response. Takes down Nico after the one, but already limping with a disadvantage. Low health, high problems. Hooksy is alone right now. Like, I feel they have to go. They have to risk this smoke. There's no other way. Oh, flash is good. JT, he's got the frag. They've got the sight. There is a round to be had here. In they go. Alzac safe plant, JT needs it, that one, and delivers G2. G2 gonna have red faces, feeling like that one. Sometimes even going into a few players that, that should at least get one, right? So, Hooksy trying to get a bit more uh, fortified in B. He got that trade there and even gets a follow-up, so really good work from JT again. Two big impact rounds to over towards this B bomb site in this first half alone. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you're going to be that frustrated because you didn't even get a chance to shoot back and that's the entire B site done, right? If, if Hooks is feeling pressure, he's screaming for a rotation. You know, he's calling for that rotate, which I think was Hunter and Arch side that round for a little bit more help. Concerned about the jump up as well, but Monacy here and successful. He's had a frag mid, banana and apartments on these openings. That's uh, honestly staying active here. And a number advantage. Now, will it just be the B play at this point? Oof. I'd say, why the hell not? Another 100 damage nade, and Nico goes looking. They had the advantage. He's looking to extend it and does so fully blind into JT. You have to expect him to heavy rotate. If I'm JT and I've won the type of rounds I've won at B, I would be expecting a heavy rotate. Oh, no. And that's the rotate. You know that Hooks is on the side now. Just execute the three. Yeah, JKS and Monacy are already starting to rotate. I think they also suspect that this is uh, pretty cut and dry as to where this one finishes. Hooks, he's still alive. You know, he's the Bianca alongside with Hunter. It's rotation down, cut down. Both for Kovac watching from the sidelines here. Oh, I don't like this. Hooks, he's got the advantage of the health on to Grim. One bullet is all it takes. Finishes what Nico started. Oh. On, on the back of Halzerk, he fouls off a shot. They've got 30 seconds to try and bang. Oh, he's revealed himself. Monacy gets away with info. And he's going to have a chance. He does deliver. 
Awkward for Halzerk here. 20 seconds through the flames and into the scope. Does get away with murder. On to Monacy. JKS is next challenge. Goes for a quick oh, one. Oh, oh. Halzerk heating up now as the 1v3 looks real. Surely the hard part behind him. Hooksy. Last bastion of hope for an eighth here for G2. How's that going to go for the clear? This is gorgeous work from Halzerk. Always impressive as Cole will take the lead at the half. Eight to seven. A great recovery. And Floppy to get activated. Three kills for him. We need to see a little bit more as we might just bust oh, out oh, in for him with one. He's found a second on the headshots, but they're coming back the other way. Floppy found some impact too, but Monacy gets the final say. Two on two. Ooh, that was one hell of a cluster. Suck. And now Monacy and Hunter, they are going to get up short. It is only floppy long range given the low HP, hoping to hit a couple of those taps. And now the smoke is up and the time is on their side. They'll get that bomb down safe. No kit here. Hunter's actually has been planted. planted himself right inside that. It does mean floppy can push through, but Monacy quick to the draw on that one. A great headshot looking for the close. Can G2 take both pistols here? Or can JT disrupt? Would need a quick tap. Look at the after plant positions they've gone for here. The step reveal. Honestly, playing around the elevations and it's well played. A good close. And is that four? Four. Oh, good. Grief. 20 kills. He's got 20 kills in yeah. 16 rounds of play. <laughs> he's having a he's having a field day. He's having a great day at the office here. The young buck just wakes up and is absolutely tearing them apart. And this was just deathmatch in middle, wasn't it? Biffin and brawling. Ah, that is, you know, his awareness there to turn the smoke on the black. Damn. Let's go. Oh. Let's see. Floppy and Halzak like to be tested. They've got Fang in there as well, but the util reigns in. And the Mac 10 falls flat. Floppy. Lays Hoopsie to rest. A big one back from Hunter. He's opened up the avenue of long. Rotation through. Grim and JT. Are they expecting this? There's a lot of bodies worming through and ready for engagements. Crossfire's established. It's JT beheaded by JK. Yes. And yes, indeed. A double. Round defining. Should have access to that wide open B site, and that's one way to win a round. Listen to that, chick. <sighs> He's stuck in the, the tires of the bike, Floppy. Just put, either put him out of his misery or save him. Yeah, right. One or the other. Oh, they aren't really gunning for that gun. Yeah. Oh, boy. Trying to hold on to the little bit of whatever they can. It doesn't look good. Not at all. And you talked about it, Floppy, and that old drop for the AWP. Both of them fully invested, losing it all, Chad. And at this stage in the game, this might be where alarm bells start to ring. That's the angle floppy rewarded for it. First headshot in and Grim onto Nico. Complexity, a necessary round to keep it competitive. Especially considering two man advantage. That could change. Grim brought down to half health on those coffins. They can get the re-smoke, desperate to reposition. I like it though. He's gone side side, right? So they're gonna fortify the B side with both of them back side. Grim playing around the smoke for help. And oh, what? All right, so 38 seconds left, two on situation. Yeah, there's something to be said. Monacy, woof, beheaded. JT's hitting a couple of crackers. And it should be enough. I think by taking Monacy out, leaves JKS alone and back exposed. Fang will take him down nicely. So that gap oh, is starting CT to close. That, but that's just the, fir that's the first of what, if you're a complexity fan, you're hoping to be many here. Short apps, they're all set up for this. Hunter's going looking, floppy on the jiggle. JKS dumping the util first. Hunter looking to impress, a big one from floppy. Hooksy claws one back for G2 and into the site. Fang has to find another. He's been caught on the edge of that smoke as it's Hooksy in fact to post the double. Two on two for the retake. Both rerouted, so nobody with banana aggression here. Util. A plenty. We've got two smokes, a couple of flashes to work with, and well, they'll be dealing with this grey screen for a moment longer. But Hooksy, that could not be better time. Oh. Straight down the gullet. A bit more utility damage to add to that list, and spam <laughs> through the smoke for good measure. He's doing it all, is Hooksy. Strong individual performance from the in-game leader. And now Halza, he's already hit one crazy clutch, but Monacy not interested in any more of that. Up to 13. A flash. And a frag. Hooksy gone, but entry here, flash. Yeah, here comes Nico. Three here. Nico catches up the fade, and here comes Nico. Headshot the law. A double from him. Floppy though does find impact. An early rotation that perhaps keeps complexity's grip on this round. And he gets a bomb though. JK needs to pick that up on the way in, so they need to hold them at the door for now. The rotation here. Everybody else is at the site before the bomb. Last a late arrival. 
re-smoking. Both ways, actually. It just becomes a little bit more risky now because you have to worry about the boost. 74. Halsep's just lost a great deal of his health there as Monacy's racked up one. It feels there's a bit of a sinking feeling going on right yeah. here. Right? We spoke about their buy being flushed off. So gets out. Yeah, they get away. Fang trying to make sure he can too. It's not, it doesn't matter at this point what guns they take away. It's more important that he saves, but there was there was really no way out. JKS probably going down with the bomb here. So uh, I think 14 to 9, the, the, the sinking feeling has been felt because that by last round had a Famous and an MP9. And they even got the opening pick, which I said they needed. It's unable to, I thought there was going to be an entry fight for Nico here, uh, but he just goes on the fade and hits two absolute bangers. I would take a timeout if I'm cold just to have a conversation. Nice. Like, you, you, you can buy right now. It's not going to be a good buy. And actually, as of late, even JKS pulling out another open. Oh, oh my god, what is that now? Seven, eight? Seven and one? Seven. Okay, great. I think they've all been with the AWP as well. Yeah, there's more to come. Okay, Grim brings the AWP into the mix. And an arrow miss, but four on four into play. Look at the speed. They want to go. Well, yeah, if he can get through long side, there's Fang and Floppy coming through. The re-clear in the brackets. Great util from Hootsie. That will limit their options as they're already in. Absolutely no resistance and very suspicious. They don't need to do this. They have three smokes. Ah! They didn't need to do that. They have they had three smokes and a molly just to keep every all the choke points smoked off for a, a long time. And now I think Complexity Bears will go for this. Yeah, Hooksy may have overcooked the pooch there. Honestly gets spotted out, ready to peek. And this shot onto that AWP on this retake. They are going to give it a look in. There is no kit in play, but JKS onto JT. And I think Complexity have to cut their losses. They know a 10-second defuse is not going to be happening, especially now with the equipment they've found, an AK, an AWP, a deagle for Fang. He might stick around to try and get one more on the way out, but... Get out of the bomb again. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> he, kn he knows it. He's going to try, He's but he trying. knows it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, there's the 15. And there was a chance for complexity. An attempt was made. I say same spawn again. Does that mean he's going to take that banana? He, ha he has a good spawn. So, yeah, it's likely to see Monacy look for either... Uh, yeah. Yep. yep. Well, we're likely to see Monacy go aggressive with the AWP again based off of that. At least he's letting the in-game leader know, like, immediately before the round is called. That's great. 2-2 two -two split of the defenses here. Oh, this is going to hurt. That is gorgeous from JKS. A tiny millimeter gap and blows the head off of Floppy. They can't rotate from B either because they're both back of sight. Oh, they're very committed. So, I mean, this almost looks like it's all said and done unless Halzak has another one. He is right now one versus three on this A side of the map and he's so intently just trying. Wait for Monacy, still ready for it as he racks up another. So the bomb to be planted and the round to take its time. Well, lads, you have to give this one a go. I, I was worried uh, about that one. <laughs> Fanger started walking towards D spawn and yeah, Monacy. Give him another one. Why not? I think he's, he's planning to finish this all on his own. 33 frags looking for 34 Monacy. He's definitely here in Paris. A shining performance from Monacy to keep G2 on their winning ways. And all the best of ones locked in. Just absolutely farming here today. And the smiles on the faces. G2 find themselves in that 2-0 column. One best of three away from that legend stage where they rightfully belong. They didn't even make it to the last major. The mood's looking good.